people are fans of the ScanSnap scanners, and they were from Fujitsu, but I'm standing in a PFU Rico company booth, and Scott Francis is gonna to explain to me what I just said. Yes, Allison, well, thanks for stopping by. So the former Fujitsu company that has made Fujitsu scanners for over 30 years was acquired by Rico. Rico now owns a majority, 80% of our company, so now we've gone from the Fujitsu logo to Rico. Okay, that's good, but Rico's a household name, we're good with that. Rico is an excellent name, they make great products, so we really found ourselves right at home under the Rico badge. Yeah, that sure sounds like it. So you've got a couple of things here. What I'm really excited about is portable displays. I think portable USB-C displays have just like revolutionized my life. I think they're cool. So you've got an offering here. I think it's one of the best new products that most people didn't even know existed. Didn't know they even needed. That's right, but when you get one in your hands, you'll know right away that you want one and you won't want to give it back. That's for sure. I bought one, my I gave my daughter one, and then now she's, she's basically like a salesperson at her office for them. <laughs> so what, oh. what is the offering from Rico? So this is our new portable monitor 150. We also have the 150BW, which is a battery and wireless model. So what? two models to choose from, that's right. Wireless, okay, don't, don't get me too excited. We'll come up on the wireless one. Let's do this one first. Yeah, let's talk about the basic specifications that both models share. First, it's a 15.6 inch OLED display. OLED, OLED okay. That's right, so you're gonna get great brightness, amazing image quality. We have twin speakers on the side to complement your presentation. This has tempered glass, so it's a very durable design as well. That's important in a portable display. And full HD resolution as well. Okay. Yeah, oh yeah, so what is the resolution? The resolution is full HD 1920 by 1080. Okay, okay. And then it looks like it might have a kickstand on the back, does it? Great point, Allison. So we can see it from the side. It has an integrated kickstand. This is unique to our model. It's unique because you can have it in different orientations. Let's say I'm a graphics artist and I want to do some digital art. I can have it in any orientation that works. This is a 10-point touch screen display. So for Windows users at least? Windows users, Mac users, even iOS and Android. Oh, that's interesting. So um, the, the way he's got it set on the table, it's at an angle like it would be very comfortable to draw on it with Procreate or something like that. Exactly. But, but it's not a, you wouldn't be drawing right on it. Uh, you could draw right on this using the stylus. You can use a standard stylus. We also sell a stylus for about $100 that has over 4,000 levels of sensitivity and two function buttons. So if you're using Adobe Photoshop, you can bring out all those extra features. But Mac OS is not a touch operating system, but I guess it's like having a, a Wacom tablet in the old days? Yeah, I think for, for driving it with the display itself, it would actually be Windows or Android. Okay, for, that makes sense. For Mac, you can actually du duplicate your display, but to your point, you're not actively driving the session. Okay, that, that makes more sense. But it can also stand up as a regular stand for using it as a computer device, as an yes. extended display, correct? Or, or sizes in between. So that's the best part about the Very nice, very nice. The thing I like about an integrated kickstand is it doesn't take up a lot of room on the desk, too. It's perfect for all those home remote workers that don't have a lot of space. Or road warriors. And in road warriors, you can take it right on the road. If you're an outside salesperson, let your customer see the presentation while you drive it from the other side. This is a much better experience than having everyone huddle around a laptop. Right, right, right. Okay, so now I want to hear about this wireless version because that just sounds like sorcery to me. All right, so we're going to walk down here. here. Now with both models, I can go, I can go USB-C with either model, and it can be powered with USB-C as well for our battery model. So the battery model has a three-hour battery, and it can charge in about two and a half hours. Is this this one I've got in my hand right here? Yes. Yeah, so this is the BW. Okay, I'm lifting this thing, and this thing weighs nothing. This is a three and a half hour it battery. It weighs 25 ounces. It's amazing. One hand, maybe even two fingers. I'm, I'm telling you, Steve. Steve's manning the camera, but you got to lift this. You got to see how light this is. 
That is astonishing. That's all like now it's it's tethered it's right now to cable. Travel around with a portable display, you want the 150 because it is super lightweight, but it's solid design. But that's got a battery in it. It's got a battery in it, a three-hour battery that can recharge in about two and a half hours. It's amazing, and you can use it while it's charging. Fantastic. So th this is the 150 and the 150 BW. Yes. And BW stands for? Uh, it's just our uh, part number suffix to connotate that we have a battery and wireless. Okay. Battery, battery and wireless. wireless. Okay, I got that. So what's your price point on these two devices? Street price is $700 for the wireless and battery model. 550 is the street price for the USB-C only. So for if you're looking at cheesy... USB-C displays and going, well, wait a minute, that's a ridiculous price. These are OLED. That's, that is a huge yes. difference here. You could spend $200 on a portable display, but it's going to be heavy. It's not going to have a battery. It's not going to operate well. These have a reduction of blue light emissions to make it great. You can even use it in lower light settings. If you're going to use something all of the time, spend a little more and get a lot more value. Very good. This is fantastic. So if people want to find out more about the 150 and the 150BW portable displays, where would they go? They can go to ricodocumentscanners.com and that will take you to our Rico site where we have all of our products here, including our document scanners. All right. Very good. Thank you very much, Scott. This is fantastic. Thank you, Allison.